Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have an Emotion Graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an elegant called Shine Effects in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, and as you see here in my comp, we got a few text layers. So basically this is how this title looks like. So first let's start with this text layer here. And so I'm going to add blur and opacity and scale. So all these properties are under these animator one. So I'm going to set blur to five. You can see it's blur out these text and then on range selector i'm going to animate here the offset so we can see what's going on there it's animate these uh blur there so we're going to set that to minus 100 and around three seconds we're going to crank up that to 100 percent so we're going to have something like this and then we're going to zero out the opacity so that's what we're going to have here opacity and blur are together animating there and i'm going to add here scale with it so it's going to start scaling these characters so maybe just 80 percent that's fine and as you see here at zero we still see the text so we want to start uh building out the text for us so here we got advanced and on shape we can change these to ramp up so it's going to start building up the text for us as you see here and that's what basically we want here so we got these and we want to add some randomized for these characters so here we have randomized order we can set that to on and it's going to randomize this and it looks very cool and straightforward to create of course here we have the seats so we can change that and also here we have is high and is low so basically this is just like easy is for the ramp app so i'm going to set that to 70 and low to 50 percent so we're going to have something like this Okay, so now I'm going to add tracking. So make sure I'm not selecting the animator one and then add tracking. So now we have animator two. And so we're just going to animate tracking amount. So around five seconds, I'm going to set these to seven. So we're going to have very subtle tracking with the animation. That's look very cool. So now all you need to do is save this animation preset. So you can apply it to the other text layer. And I already did that. So here I'm just going to apply these preset to these ones. So we got the animation right away, right there. And of course you can now just adjust here the offset keyframe for the duration. So we got something like this. So let's preview this again. That's look pretty cool. So now I'm going to add ramp, create a ramp here and change start to white and these to radial, the shape. In the star, we want to start that in the middle and the end. We want to give that a gray color. So now you can basically see what's going on there. Something like this. And that's going to be helpful later for the look of the text. So let's copy that to this one right here and just change the start and the end a little bit for this so you can See, we got some nice gradient on that. And now I'm going to pre-compose these. So this is going to be title 01, move all attributes and hit OK. So now all we need to do here is start stylize this. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and that's going to be light rays. 
And then I'm going to add CC Radio Fast Blur here. You can see by adding that, we got something like this. Very cool. And so here I'm going to change the zoom to brightest and crank up this amount to 95. And we got something like this. And I'm going to add curve to just lower the brightness a little bit there. You can see what's going on. Something like this. And we want to add some variation to this effect. So we're going to add fractal noise here. And you can see the fractals now apply it to the shine effect. So here I'm going to set the contrast to 300 and complexity to one. So we got something like this in transform. I'm going to see these actually around 400 just to make that bigger right there. And let's change this to spline and blending mode to multiply. And then here we have these evolution animation. So we're going to add time expressions. So times times 100. So we have something like this. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to see this fractal just before this radial. And so we have something like this. And I'm going to set this blended mode for this to add. So now we have that just behind the text. So let's preview this to see how it looks like. So as you see, this look pretty cool. So for now, you can see we got a little bit of problem here, right there. All you need to do is add a new adjustment or actually um, solid layer. Make sure it's black and let's put it just behind everything there. You can see now it's fixed the problem for on the text there. And so I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and this one is going to be fog just to create some depth here. So I'm going to add fractal noise again. And here, let's change this to dynamic and spline again. And here, let's set this to 40 and minus 35. So we have something like this and complexity to one again and just crank up these scales around something like that and animating it so times times 40 so now it is animating here so we got something like this as you see okay so and now i'm going to add cc turner just to change the color for these let's change that to duotone here and just get a nice color here something like this you can change that later and here i'm going to see that to add as well so now we just create some nice fog there and now i'm going to add another adjustment layer and this is going to be pause effect so just basically a glow effect here and so let's see that to 90 and this 30 and intensity to 0.5 so we got something like this that's look pretty cool and so and now we're going to add here another adjustment layer and this is going to be color correction so we're going to add cc turner again and for the highlights i'm going to choose a bright yellow there something like that you can see what's going on here and i'm going to add lometric color and on creative here i'm going to choose a nice look so i'm going to go for these gold rash hdr here we got some very cool look here let's preview and see how this looks like So you can see we got something very cool here. Just make sure your comp set to 32 bit per channel. So here you can see the difference. 
So just for a nice glow effect. And so and now basically we almost did everything. So here on light rays, we can actually change here these offset turbulence. You can see how that changed the look, which is very interesting and very cool. You can also animate that if you want to. So I'm going to leave that at the center. The same for fog as well. You can change the look for that which is give a different looks. And so, and now we need to stylize this for a little bit more here. So all I need to do here, I'm going to add this flare here. And you can see by adding that, so basically this is how it look. And we have animation there. And just by adding that, it's also got all these look and effects. So here I'm going to see that to lights in here and Let's see these start just right there. And I'm going to add here transform and we want these flare to just get into place. So just right there and then I'm going to add fast box blur here and change these dimension to horizontal and crank up these blur so we can see now we are changing how that lens blur or lens flare looks right there. So here we can also add curve to to actually adjust the brightness of that. So something like these. You can see something like this, we got it right there. So maybe we need more blur there. So 300. And so let's preview this and see how it looks like. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So maybe just adjust position of the lens flare a little bit. Okay, so that's fine. And so we need to add some depth to this. So you can just add here some particles. There's a lot free out there and that's going to really give us a nice look here. So basically this is how it look these particles here. So by adding that you can see it's also got the nice shine look for these particles here. So this is how the particles look. And with all these stuff, you can see we got some nice like volumetric light there. And here we're going to change the blending mode to these as well. And here we can just mask here the center. Let's invert that MM to feather these. So we got the idea here, you can stylize these the way you want to. You can even add more particles if you want. And you can see here how this looks. So very cool stuff. And on color correction, you can change more of the look. So maybe we need to add more sharpen there a little bit. And we can brighten that if we want to. So here you can see how this looks now. So there's a, a lot of stuff you can stylize this. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, this look pretty cool. So maybe these particles are fast. So just adding time remap here to slow these a little bit here. So we're just going to add this keyframe here and slow these down a little bit. And also here you can basically change these or animate the center here for different looks as you see here. So you can have so many very cool stuff right here which is very cool. And also here, just remember um, changing here the offset turbulence will affect the look 
of that as well. And of course here, I'm going to show you another thing here. Um, basically here I got these um, animation of the shape layers here. And so if we just change these uh, comp with this one here, you can see we got some nice look for that. So if you add some design and some different stuff, you can have that nice golden child look here, which is very cool. So hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and then we do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.